Greetings everyone, my name's Dom and today I'm going to be showing you uh, the sort of the ultimate guide to improve FPS on Dying Light. Now, um, Dying Light is sort of like a zombie game, it's not very well optimised for a minute, the devs have said that they're working on a update uh, for the game to increase the FPS for the PC version. Personally, I'm not one to wait for those things, so uh, I always just enjoy the little fixes and stuff. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna say this right off. Um, it it will probably work for you, but if it doesn't, don't get upset. It probably won't work for everyone. Most FPS fixes don't always work for everyone um, because it always comes down to things like hardware and stuff like that. And there's always these little differences. Um, that are different to your system than to my system. If you would like to see all my system specs, and I'll link it down in the description. I by no means have a little bit of a puppy of a PC, but um, it's nowhere, it's by no means like a beast. So with all um, computers with dying light installed on, you will have a, uh, a folder in your documents um, called dying light right here. Now it will have just one folder in it, and it has like a few certain things in it, and it's called out. Um, you want to make a new folder called data in it, and then head into data folder, and then make a new folder in that one called scripts. Head into that one, and then minimize this. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to load up a new uh, explorer, and you want to find where your dying light is in it. Mine's in the game folder. Let's go to DW, and then you should see all these. For you, it will be a just a blank, uh, probably be a blank file. Um, if you have 7-zip or WinRAR, which you, sh which you all should probably have, um, then uh, what you want to do is you want to click on it, right click, open with, and then uh, yeah, open with, and then find 7-zip. If you can't find 7-zip, then, you know, obviously just search it and download it again. Uh, stuff like that. But anyway, yeah, so once you are in there, just open it up. Go into the data folder. Go into scripts, right here. And then it will come up with all of these varlist ones. What we are looking for is varlist underscore noise, right here, and varlist underscore performance. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to the scripts folder that you had earlier and you want to drag these two into this folder. Next thing you want to do is you want to hit this and you want to open up the notepad. Right here. In notepad, you want to go to File, Open. All files, make sure it's uh, into the documents with the script folder. So you have these two files that you just put in. You want to go into noise and open. And it will come up with a uh, few floats. If you don't know what they are, they're basically just these. Uh, if you do computer science, uh, then you'll understand what they are. Uh, so you just click save as. Make sure it's under all files. Click save. Yes. And then open again. All files. Performance one this time. Open. Now, uh, the one we want to change in this one uh, is the shadows on the sun, and you want to change this to zero. Save as. All files. Save. Now, the reason why we're doing save as and not normal save um, is generally because. I can move my mic closer to my mouth. Um, it's generally because uh, when you usually save it, it will save as a text file and not. Uh, a exe file, which uh, it, it won't make any difference to your game. Another thing that helps a lot with uh, FPS um, is setting the priority of some things. Say, uh, for example, uh, I can't do it with Dying Light because my OBS will screw up. So I'm going to use, I'm going to do it with Premiere Pro as an example. It will be the same thing. So you want to load up Task Manager by default. If you haven't loaded it up before, it will look like this. If you want to get up Task Manager. And you just go on to your start menu, if it's actually going to load up, what the fuck's it doing? Okay, that's a bit weird. Um, and you just type in task, and there it is, task manager right there. 
um, it will load up and it will look something like this. It has all of your programs that are open in your task menu. Um, and it will just have, if you click the more details button, it will come up with a much more detailed list of all of your processes that are currently running. You want to go ahead to the details tab where it will show again all of your processes and their current status. Um, for you guys, you want to find Dying Light. Uh, I'm just going to use Premiere Pro as an example. Um, so this is Dying Light, you right click on it, and it says set priority right here. Um, by default it will be on normal. You want to set this to real time, uh, if there's no difference then set it to high. Uh, but real time is generally what you want to go for. And that's simply just it. So now we're just ready to launch up Dying Light. So. Um, I'm going to launch up Dying Light and then we'll adjust some settings in the game, but for this I'm going to have to use DX Story. It will be a little bit laggy, especially with DX Story, but uh, I hope you, just, you can just bear with it. Okay, so we are now in Dying Light, the game, um, and let's go ahead into the options menu. So as you can see, I'm running 1366 by 768 um, on a uh, 16 by 9 ratio. Uh, full screen is off, so we're running in window mode. Make sure you turn off VSync, you don't want this on. Now, um, I do have it high settings apart from shadow map size. Uh, it doesn't make a difference to your game whatsoever. I found no visual difference, um, so you just wanna you just want to put that on low. Now, the view distance, again, put it all the way on low because that absolutely tanks your frames. Um, if you see in the bottom, I mean, top left hand corner, you will see my frame rate currently. Um, ambient occlusion, turn it off. You don't need it. Any of this uh, AMD stuff, you, you just don't need it. Um, for AMD, um, Nvidia stuff, I'm sorry. But any of the AMD cards, uh, anyone on Team Red out there, um, it doesn't, it doesn't look nice. It just doesn't. I've tried it with it on. Just, just turn it off. You're just wasting your frames, basically. Keep the anti-aliasing on though, and turn motion blur off for God's sake. I don't know why you'd have it on. I just don't know why. But yeah, that's it. View distance and video stuff, and the lower resolution is kind of key to all of this. Anyway, just come out of this. Let's uh, let's get into uh, let's get into a bit of the uh, gameplay and see how we do. Again, I'm recording. It literally quarters your frames with DX Story. Uh, with the lag with codec on some games, especially this game for some reason, I have no idea why. Hopefully, it's gonna little be it's gonna be a little bit better. For those of you who don't actually understand why the video is so laggy, uh, is because the video uh, frame rate output is at around 10 frames, which is the number that you see on the right. Uh, the number that on, that's on the left uh, is what's actually playing, what the game is actually playing at. Um, that's the actual frame rate of the of the actual game so that's basically what you're going to be looking at it says 10 because you're seeing a choppy you're just seeing a choppy really really laggy video that's what that is that's what you're seeing not what I'm playing at just wanted to clear that up uh, stepping outside I'm getting 40 50 which is not bad for recording actually it's definitely playable 50 FPS right now so right, there's a zombie down there so just Fuck around. Don't fuck around the puzzle. Okay, so we're actually getting 60, 65 FPS, 50, 56, 50, 60. It's it's actually really really playable. It's really smooth. Um, there's there's no problems here. Fuck off, mate. But alas, that's all she wrote. If this helped you to some degree, remember it won't help everyone. Then show your appreciation by tapping that like button. I love your face, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.